Thanks for checking out this video. Let's talk about one of my favorite topics right now, Shudder. Specifically, horror. And Shudder has become a thing I love because of horror, and Shudder has become a thing I love because they're doing horror right at the moment. Um, Alright, so I just got this yesterday. Sorry I couldn't do a video immediately because I was very, very busy with stuff yesterday. So today's the day that I'm able to get to it. There was a press release from Shudder that there is a new exclusive that will be coming to Shudder. They've done this a few times in the past where they'll go after a film to get the rights to distribute, well, distribute it, well, show it on their streaming service um, in the United States. But in this case, they also got it for Canada uh, in their initial, what they're saying. I'll That'll make sense to you in a, in a little bit. But um, So they said in the United States and Canada, they will be releasing the film one cut of the dead so this film is actually a zombie film but specifically a zombie comedy film and it's a japanese film so first of all i know there's some people out there who i just lost when i said japanese it is in japanese there will be subtitles i believe um i don't know if they're going to put together like a dubbed version or not i know sometimes they'll do that sometimes they won't do that hopefully um well, I was going to say hopefully they don't because I like to do it subtitled. But you know what? If they have the option, that would be cool if they did it because I know some people prefer not to do subtitles. But uh, if you're out there and you're like, oh, I don't like reading when I watch a film, unless it gives you a headache, just stick with it. Honestly, for the first like five minutes or so, you're very aware that you're reading. But after that, it just kind of your mind just makes it all roll together. And you don't even really realize you're reading after those like five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. I don't know, depending on who you are. But anyway, uh, One Cut of the Dead. So it's it was a super low budget indie film in Japan. Like I said, it's a zombie comedy. It did really, really well. Apparently it was shot for only $27,000, which is super cheap. It's not the cheapest I've seen an indie film shot for that did well, but it is super cheap. Uh, I think the cheapest one that I know of was Primer, which was about time travel, and it was done for like $10,000, and that thing was awesome. If you can ever find that film Primer, check it out. It's it's phenomenal. The guy Shane Carruth, who did that film, actually went on to become a consultant for, for tri time travel, and he's been involved in like films like Looper and stuff like that because they're like, is this close enough to like actual time travel? crazy stuff but anyway one cut of the dead is what we're mainly talking about so they did it for twenty seven thousand dollars they made 28 million dollars and then internationally made 30 million dollars so obviously doing well apparently right now they're 100 percent on rotten tomatoes which tells you especially with a horror film because a lot of times people like to crap on horror they really do like if you look at, at internet movie database and they do it out of like a a 10 star rating but they can have like point one two three four five all the way through nine uh, a lot of horror films that you'll be like oh this is a really good horror film or this is a solid horror film you will go on there and they have like 5.4 highest at a six you know it's ridiculous some of the higher up ones like exorcist shining stuff like that they're higher up there but people get, do really hard rating on horror films just because they don't think it's like highbrow enough it's like whatever but anyway, um, so 100% on Rotten Tomatoes, apparently. That's got to be great. Uh, so, like I said, they're bringing it to the United States and to Canada. But also, they secured the rights for Australia and New Zealand, which they say in the press release they will be coming to those countries soon. Awesome. So if anyone's seeing this, you're from Australia and or New Zealand, and you want Shudder, it's in the works. You're going to get it. So um, you can say, when can I expect this? There wasn't a specific date, but it said later this year. So obviously it's not going to be like sooner. I'm thinking when it says later this year, probably anywhere from August through December is my feeling on it. So we'll find out. Uh, I do have to read off my phone for this because there's a little bit of a synopsis, you know, like the teaser of what it's about. And I want to give you guys an idea. Shinichiro Ueda's One Cut of the Dead starts with a film crew shooting a zombie movie who stumble into an actual zombie outbreak, all shot in a single 37-minute take. That's cool. Uh, from there, the story widens its focus, transforming in, into a comedic love letter to the spirit of indie filmmaking 
that conjures up unstoppable ingenuity in the face of overwhelming odds. One Cut of the Dead's wild, crowd-pleasing final 30 minutes reframes everything you thought you saw in an outrageous new light. So, I mean, that sounds good to me. Sounds very good to me. I'm a big fan of horror comedies. Um, I haven't seen, like, a ton of them out there because not a lot of people do it. And part of my reason for thinking that is that it's not easy to do. Like, horror is its own thing. Comedy is its own thing. When you put those two things together, it takes a very particular type of person to be able to mesh those things properly. And I'll just give you some examples right now of, of horror comedies that I really like. I consider um, things like Army of Darkness and Evil Dead 2 to be, like, horror comedies, Bubba Hotep, things like that. Those are great ones. Tucker and Dale vs. Evil is an excellent one. Um, Shaun of the Dead, obviously. And to a degree, The Cabin in the Woods, which is one of my like all-time favorite horror films, period. So anyway, but uh, this is just another what sounds like awesome acquisition by, um, by Shudder. Uh, they've, if people don't know, they've had other really awesome exclusives on there, such as, uh, I didn't find this one, this first one awesome, but a lot of other people did, so good for them, uh, Mandy, uh, the Panos Cosmato film, Mandy with Nicolas Cage in it, uh, it looks amazing, I will give it that much, it looks amazing, I have a lot of problems with it, maybe I'll do a review or analysis on it at some point, but, um, a lot of people love it, so that's good. So Mandy, Summer of 84, which I really enjoyed, uh, really enjoyed that film. It had uh, kind of like um, a feel of like Stranger Things meets the Goonies kind of. Really well done. Uh, Revenge was another really good one that they did. Uh, I also have a few problems with that, but for the most part, really like that film. Looks really good. Obviously, it's a revenge film. Um, super fun. And Mayhem is another one I thought of that I really, really enjoyed. That one just has a lot of awesome violence and gore, and it's just a fun story. So that's not all of them. There are a bunch of exclusives on Shudder, and I think they have an entire section on Shudder for just their exclusives. So people should just kind of go through that and check that out in the meantime while you wait for One Cut of the Dead. Um, another thing I wanted to say, that that's all the information I have for this particular thing. Maybe there will be an update in the future. So a few things. One, I want to send a personal message out to Craig Engler, the guy who took over at Shutter. He's heading everything up. I think he took over last, early last year, I believe, somewhere around like, it may be about a year now, like April-ish or something of last year. And I feel like everything lined up with when he came on and started overseeing things at Shutter and when things started to get really awesome. So Craig Engler doing an outstanding job. If anyone knows how to get this video in front of his face, put it in front of his face just so he can know that I am very thankful for what he's doing. And Craig, if you see this, email me and let me know that you saw it just so I know that you know how grateful I am. Brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com. B-R-E-W-T-A-L podcast at gmail.com. Anyway, you people watching can also email me there if you want to talk about, you know, what films do you want me to do, uh, what videos do you want me to cover you know whatever you want you can contact me there but you can also put some comments down there and if you're going to do that please hit that subscribe up there do some thumbs ups hit the notification bell when you do the subscribe that way you'll know when i'm putting up other videos so the other thing is do people want to keep getting these updates on shutter uh this is something i kind of really uh do because i'm passionate about shutter i've been loving it since I mean, I've had it for about two years, maybe a little bit over two years now, but I started like really getting into it and really loving it about August of 2018 because I feel like that's when things like really, really started getting awesome. Uh, maybe a little bit before that, but I just didn't get around to getting into it. But anyway, um, I would love for people to share some comments below. You know, what are you watching on Shutter? Actually, first, do you have Shutter? And if you don't, and you're a horror fan, why don't you have Shutter? So tell me that, and then I can give you all the reasons why. You're in the wrong because you don't have Shutter. But the other thing is, if you do have Shutter, start making comments down there and tell me what have you watched that I should definitely check out. Uh, there's a chance that I've already seen it, but there's also a huge chance that I haven't because there's a lot of material on Shutter currently and there's a lot of amazing stuff. But yeah, and anything else you want, just 
right down there in the comments. Anyway, thank you everyone so much for checking this out. I really do appreciate it. Once again, Shutter killing it. Craig Engler specifically doing that awesome, awesome job. I'm excited for One Cut of the Dead. Are you excited for One Cut of the Dead? It seems like it could be in the same vein as like a um, Shaun of the Dead and Wan of the Dead, which is one I have not seen but I've heard is really cool. Maybe at some point they'll get that on Shutter. But anyway, I'm going on too long. Until next time, keep it brutal.